So I'm tearing off the pipes here so we can, uh, I'm going to wrap them instead of having the uh, chrome covers on them. And I'm also going to take, cut out this crossover pipe and uh, patch the holes. All right, so the plan is to cut this crossover pipe out and then block those openings and then heat, uh, heat wrap those, uh, those pipes up. I like the look better than the, the chrome, so that's, uh, that's the reason for that. I'm gonna get that done. All right, so I'm cutting this crossover pipe from between the two uh, pipes out. This guy here. If you do this, you're going to want to cut this little piece of pipe. When they make these, they, they slide the pipe inside and they weld around it. But for, I mean, that causes restriction in there. It was like blocking half the pipe almost. So you're going to want to take those out. You see this one here, I haven't done it yet. So that piece of pipe goes right in there. So you're going to want to cut that out and then, uh, what you can do is cut a slice of this pipe, which is, I believe that's stainless. So you, you cut a slice of it, you rip it in half, and then you open that up, and you use that as your patch for in there. It's not real complicated. And if you don't know how to take those pipes off, this is a 03 Sportster uh, Custom, the 100th year anniversary. So you've got two 13, 13 millimeter bolts up here, or half inch. Uh, and the two in there, that's what holds your pipe onto the engine. And then you have a nut right behind the brake, uh, rear brake rod here by the master cylinder. There's a nut there. And then that bracket here, it holds the other uh, muffler down at the bottom. So that's all, it uh, that's all you have to take off to pull these pipes off. And then once you've got the pipes off, you just use a die, uh, I used a, an, an angle grinder, four and a half inch angle grinder. And I just cut this, you know, I cut the, the little trap hole in it there and take that pipe off. Then once you're done, um, like I said, you open up this piece of pipe, put it in there, weld it back in and you're good to go. I think I'm going to use stainless wire or stainless rod to weld that in there just so we don't get any rust issues down the road. But uh, there's rust going on here. I'm not sure exactly if this is stainless. I don't have my magnet here with me to check, but... Um, it's either stainless or it's chrome dipped. I'm pretty sure it's stainless. Anyways, there's there's no videos on YouTube showing how to do this, so I figured I may as well show you guys uh, how to cut that crossover out. It's really not that complicated. If you've got a little bit of fabrication skills, um, and even then, as long as you can weld a little bit, you'll be able to weld those back in. So that's that's all there is to it.
this one here didn't have as much pipe sticking out. Yeah, the, these pieces here, they cause restriction in there, so you want to take that out. That way you have a nice, nice flow for the exhaust. So then you're going to want to measure how long your opening is here. And cut yourself a piece to fit in there, you know. I've got about an inch and a half and an inch and three quarters. Try to form it a bit so it fits inside that inside that opening. Something like that. Now I'm gonna fill that in with stainless uh, weld, you know. Take a little bit more off. So I'm going to shape that to fit in there nicely and tack it in all the way around. Uh, be good as new. Then when you wrap it, you're not even going to see that. So there you go. You don't need a TIG welder. It's just a regular 187 Hobart uh, MIG welder with shielded gas. And um, it's going to get covered over with a wrap anyway, so it, it doesn't have to be pretty. It doesn't have to be a TIG weld. So we'll do the same thing to the other pipe. All right, so we got these all patched up. Holes are all welded solid, both sides, that's all done. So I guess the next thing, we're going to pull the baffles out of here. Real easy to do, that's a baffle here, I already did the other one. So there's two screws here, these are the Screaming Eagle pipes. There's two screws there, one there, one there, 7 16 bolts I should say, and nuts on the inside. You just want to 
undo those bolts, grab the end with a pair of vice grips, and just wiggle them out. Real simple. You have the two independent pipes, no baffles with the wrap on them. Wrap is coming next. That's all done. And uh, so now I've wrapped these guys up. There's lots of videos of that online if you want to see how that's done. So that's that's what it's gonna look like when it's over when it's installed. I got that one on there for now. I'll put the other one on. Um, I find the look is a lot nicer than that that chrome stuff that they put on there. I find that uh, these guys here, you know, there's just too much chrome. I don't want so much shine going on. So I've got these baffles pulled out. So it's looking good. I'll bolt the other exhaust on there. One more thing done.